Hi folks, welcome to another Cash Kai video. Today's going to be a Wish.com special, but as usual, first of all, I'd like to say thank you to my channel members. They are Shane Cook, Darren Lynch, Matthew Reynolds, and Tess Boaz. You guys are awesome, and if you'd like to join them and get things like videos early and shout outs and stuff like that, just check out the join button just below. So, like I said, today's going to be a Wish.com special. I've done one for a bit, and we have received this. Um, more specifically, this is a sunglasses holder, uh, and it is um, used for obviously holding sunglasses but um, if you notice in your cash card especially the UK model and I've got a lot of UK people but also worldwide people watch this on the UK version we don't have the grab handle on the driver's side purely because you should be holding the steering wheel uh, passenger side and rear passengers all get a grab handle but the driver's side doesn't so that's where this comes in because the gap is still there in the roof lining because obviously it's if it was a EU car the driver would be on the other side the grab handle would be on the driver's side for us so this goes in that gap really nicely. Um, it was only eight pounds plus postage from Wish. Um, it's standard ABS plastic, but it is the same color uh, gray as you'd find inside the car. Inside it is actually foam lined as well to look after your sunglasses so they don't get scratched up. And it comes with a little fixings kit, which is a couple of screws and the two tabs to cover these holes here. And also the backing plate is this here so this is because the holes aren't already there for you to screw into um, this is going to go behind the uh, roof lining and we're going to put the holes in it and it will go onto this like so so the tabs there the screw will go through the roof lining and into this at the back so the, unfortunately it doesn't come with any holes but that's you know what we need to do there is the adjustability there you've got about just under an inch probably of maneuverability for the screws um, but yeah, so that will sit like that and these two legs, one of which is spring loaded obviously so that it, it shuts itself. So one isn't spring loaded, one is. Hopefully it won't be that fast when it's in the car. <laughs> but yeah, it'll sit against the roof like that above the driver and you'll be able just to pull it down with this little um, grabby bit here. You have to pull it down, get your sunglasses out and it will go back onto the roof nice and tidy. So yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do is um, line up where the holes are going to go on this backing. Um, strip and then we'll get down to the car and we'll get it all in place so like I say we're going to get the um, little marks on here so we know where it's going to sit now because this is spring loaded it's not going to be easy to put the mark on it because I was it's basically just going to put it on like that and put a couple of dots um, but what I'm going to do is open that up and I've got a little medicine cap here just wedge that underneath and that will hold it up so then we've got this strip try and make it as centre as possible and I'm going to use the the line down the middle of the strip, just get a pen. So there's a line down the centre here, we'll use that and we'll put that line. You can just see the marks through on the other side. We'll put that on there, on each side, make sure it's pretty central. It's not the end of the world if it's not, um, because like I say, we have got a bit of manoeuvrability because it's not just a single hole. I'm going to put a black mark there and a black mark there. So once we've got the hole marked, I've used a small drill bit to make the hole. So you want to make sure that the drill bit is smaller than the supplied screws. So obviously if you make it a bigger hole, then the screws won't grab. They are self-tapping style screws. I've already done one hole here. You can see I've used a chopping board so that I don't get shouted at. Got one hole there, and then I can just make out the mark. I think you can just about on the camera as well from the other side. Perhaps if you did a, dark, a bigger mark, you'd have seen it better. Um, and just make the hole nice and slowly. There we go. So that's the two holes. Again, it's not the end of the world if these holes aren't level, uh, if they're not perfectly spaced apart, etc. As long as it fits with this, because we've got the maneuverability for the screw to go in there, it's not a problem. So now we should have these holes lined up with those two holes in the back and. Now we can get down to the car and get all this installed. Okay, so we're back in the car now. Um, excuse the light, we have issues because it's quite a sunny day today, but uh, I'll just give you the basics. So what I've done is I've removed the um, rubber door strip. You can do that just by pulling it down just nice and gently and it will pull away. Nice and easy to do. And the aim we need to get is this here. Obviously the strip, we've just put the holes in. It needs to go up behind there. That's why we've taken this strip off because that gives us a bit of maneuverability from the roof liner. Now a couple of key things you need to think about here. Uh, I think, I'm not certain, I think all Qashqai's have side impact airbags and your airbag is up here. 
so you need to be just mindful of where your screws are going and stuff like that you don't want it to cause an issue to you know heaven forbid if you did have an accident and the side impact uh, side airbags did deploy you don't want them to be in any way hindered so you do need to make sure that what you're screwing into etc is all safe and the screws haven't gone into the airbags themselves because you know they if you pierce them obviously they're not going to be an airbag the air isn't going to inflate so just be mindful um, you know and make sure when you finish and you're happy with the positioning that it looks safe and the screws aren't protruding into those airbags they're just under here so what we're aiming to do like I say this is the strip we've just put the two holes in we're going to tuck it up under here and it's going to sit like that obviously on the other side of the roof liner now you can see the gap that I was telling you about that is here for the, the handle if this was a left hand drive um, and the sunglasses holder itself does fit really nicely into that little gap so what I'm going to do I'm going to tuck this up behind and then I'm going to put the, this I'm going to screw the screws from that side through so the holes appear in the right place here and then we'll have the holes and it's just a case of tightening it all up So you can now see I've got one screw in, um, which is probably the best way of doing it, just to get one in, so I get this camera a bit more stable. Yep, so the one screw's up there, and I've not tightened it right up, and because of that I have got this adjustability to go side to side, so I can make sure that it sits nicely in that area. So if I didn't have that adjustability and it was stuck there, it wouldn't sit as pretty on that end. So that's why you have that adjustability, move up to there, and it will now sit well, level once I'm done into there so that gives us the opportunity to get the other screw in now um, so yeah crack on with that So it's now in, um, it's okay, it's fouling a bit on the roof, so when you open it, it doesn't shut itself, let's give it a little bit of a push. So I think that's possibly how close it is to the, uh, the interior, I think maybe, maybe if I put some sort of spacer on it, it might improve that. Um, but yeah, so that's how it looks, what I'm going to do now is get the door seal back on, get these little cover trims back on and put some sunglasses in it and show you what it looks like. Not my sunglasses, okay, these are the wife's, honest. I wear glasses, I have my own. But yeah, there you go, so these are actually quite big aviator style ones. And there's a lot of room for them, so you can put them face down and they're away. Need your sunglasses, open up. There we go, nice little storage area for him. Job's a good one. Nice job. So there we have it then. So it was pretty simple, um, not perfect, but I mean, it is a universal one. It does say on the listing for Nissan, Duke, X-Trail, Qashqai, etc. It is quite a universal one, really, I think, to be honest. I don't think it's, it's made to measure for a Nissan specifically. Um, so that's probably why it does foul the um, roof a little bit so it doesn't flick back that easy. Um, but yeah, for eight quid, can't really complain so yeah I'd, I'd, I'd recommend that as usual guys there will be a link just below in the description as well as if you haven't signed up to wish.com before please do use my referral code which will get you four pounds off your first order and also gets me four pound off my next order so we help each other out in that front um, and if you're not already subscribed to me and you have a cash car or you're thinking of getting one then please do subscribe and like the video and i shall see you in the next one